there is a very, very, very good chance that today's beer is not going to taste great. Because I think it's past its day of being good and stuff. Oh, what? I'm going down, people of the world! My name is Redbeard, and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We've got a bottle of Fresh Hop Harvest by Trafalgar Ales and Meads. Yeah, just like their mead that I had not that long ago. If you go to Trafalgar Ales, sort of Trafalgar Brewing, which is on the back, it takes you to allornothing.beer. So, I'm pretty sure they've been bought out or something like that. Where the hell is my bottle opener? This will work, I guess. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Let's crack her open. I haven't really ever used this bottle opener on this thing. It works. It worked well. And let's see what we've got. What I was saying about this possibly not tasting quite right is it says fresh hop harvest. So I'm assuming that this was, you know, made to be drank fresh. And even says, enjoy fresh. And says, best before April 2017. We're now into April 2017, and this poured a fair bit ahead. I'll get all that worked out, and we'll come right back. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world. Those who watch my videos, the beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. Managed to get her all in there, just barely. And I'm not sure if you can really see. You can probably kind of see in there. There's, there's a fair bit of sediment floating around inside that glass. It smells kind of nice. Tropical kind of citrusy, hoppy aromas. Still mildly scared though. I'd like to. Know, I'd really like to know when this was made. Cause there's there was still like I bought this maybe three days ago, and there was still a lot of them sitting on the shelf. So let's give her a shot. Wow. Oh my god. That is really, really bitter. I, I, I don't think it says. It's a one hop, one malt. I'm not seeing 5% alcohol. I don't see IBUs anywhere. I'd kind of like to know what the IBUs are because it tastes really high. But not bad. I don't know. Maybe I'll enjoy it by the end. Let's, let's do this. Cheers, everybody. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really not that bad. I'm almost certain the overall flavor profile is not what it was when it was originally bottled but it's decent yeah the original bitter bomb that i got off the beginning it's not doing that with every drink that was just kind of my initial reaction to the overall flavor, and now, already, I've kind of accustomed, uh, acclimatized to it, you could say. I'm not sure what the actual word is that I'm looking for, so let's just move on and say, Today being April 7th, on this date in 1978, the development of the neutron bomb was cancelled by President Jimmy Carter. What that would have been would have was a bomb da, 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 that was meant to not do a whole lot of actual destroying but to release a whole lot of deadly radiation so kind of like a nuclear bomb but without the actual huge explosion just all the radiation that it produced and i'm i'm okay with them having canceled the development of that it was terrible wasn't really any image that i found that made sense. I could have put a picture of Jimmy Carter up, I guess. I didn't. It's too late. We're going. We're going through. Plowing on. Yeah, good times. 
Mm. Not really a whole lot more I can say about this. No really bad lingering flavors. Decent level of carbonation in there. It doesn't taste like it's gone bad at all. Only beer that I've had that I'm almost like 99% sure was full on not good anymore was that blueberry beer by Waterloo Brewing that my own fault. I didn't realize it was still in the fridge. This one, it's still quite palatable. Like, quite palatable actually. It's kind of grown on me here. I'm not a, I'm not, not a fan, you could say, if you're into double negatives and stuff. On this date in 1983, during mission STS-6, astronauts Story Musgrave, I just, interesting name, you're a guy named Story, never heard of that before in my life, and a gentleman named John Don Peterson performed the first space shuttle spacewalk. I don't think it was the first ever spacewalk, but the first one with them from the space shuttle. I'm pretty sure. I recall reading something about the first spacewalk not that long ago, and I don't think it was to do with that. Pretty sure. Yeah. It's weird that, I don't know, Trafalgar, Trafalgar Brewing is now all or nothing. I don't know if they're going to keep brewing as Trafalgar under the all or nothing kind of umbrella of beers. Or if they're going to completely rebrand as all or nothing beers. Who knows? Because I want to say all or nothing is actually kind of affiliated with Granville Island. I think. I'm not 100% sure though. Don't don't quote me on that. Don't take it as fact because I'm not sure. I am sure that I kind of like this beer though. Speaking of, there's actually a decent amount of stuff to read here. Trafalgar has selected premium hops grown in Ontario for this very special ale. Over one pound of fresh hops are picked per case, rushed to the brewery, and added to the wort, the wort all in the same day in a process called wet hopping. Huh. I didn't realize it was wet hop beer. Freshly harvested hop cones import, impart colorful, fragrant flavor... Fragrant? Fra colorful, fragrant... Fragrant. Fragrant flavors. Wow, and aromas in the beer. Trafalgar was the first Ontario craft brewery to use Ontario grown hops commercially in 1999. The hops are grown, the hops used are grown in Staffordville, Ontario by Van Dislike Farms. Good for them. Tasting notes, golden amber color, vibrant aroma of hops with a touch of citrus, creamy white head, clean taste, and a refreshing hoppy finish. Oh, it's a clean taste. The taste is kind of... I don't want to say dirty either, but... I don't know. It's good, I'm not denying that. No ingredients on there. You could have even said, like, you have your one hop, one malt. You could have said what the hop and what the malt were. Actually, do you? You say the hop, don't you? Actually, no, you don't. You just say premium hops grown in Ontario. So, you know, kudos to you for staying somewhat local and stuff, but come on, tell us what they are. I don't see why not. On this date in 1999, a fire broke out and the passenger ferry, the Scandinavian Star, killing 159 people. And that's what it looked like after the fire took place. It was like, a, they think it was deliberately set and there was a exhaust vent system that was like pulling in air and was fueling the fire and helping it spread and the captain decided to shut that off 
and when he did that, it caused all the air to kind of stop moving and the smoke to start building up and it filled the cabins and the stuff they had used to coat the walls. When it caught fire, it produced, I want to say hydrogen. What the damn, what the hell was it? I, it's, I have it here somewhere. It was hydrogen cyanide and carbon monoxide were produced in vast quantities and led to basically all the deaths. I don't think anyone really burned to death. Crazy. Crazy. And apparently the, the whole, the crew was like a bunch of people that spoke a bunch of different languages. So they couldn't even really communicate with each other. And they were very poorly trained in emergency situations. Whole bunch of things just combined to lead to a, a clusterfuck, if you will. Which is not a way that I would describe this beer. Nope. It's pretty good. I'm enjoying. Finally on this date, in 1999, the World Trade Organization ruled in favor of the U.S. in its long-running trade dispute with European Union over bananas. <clears throat> I didn't even look further into it. I just thought that was a hilarious thing to read. I found a picture of some bananas, and there we go. Good times. Drink never last. Trafalgar Ales and Meads. Or All or Nothing. Brew House, guys. I don't know. Fresh Hop Harvest. Even on the date that it was best before kind of thing. Rating on that? Solid 7. Might have been an 8 if there was some kind of ingredients on there. Oh. Not a great flavor there, but it's okay. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, be sure to smash that subscribe button. If you've got some say to me, put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A peace out! I guess I might as well start kind of advertising it now. Starting Monday, next week, the week of the Barnstormer. Hashtag the week of the Barnstormer is coming.